Hey guys, and welcome to what I think is going to be the first video of my 13 days of Halloween Spooktober. We are doing some Graveyard Keeper, playing the Game of Crone DLC, which I kind of began a little playthrough of last year during Halloween. Um, did not really think it through. The game is a nice length. I didn't even get to any of the Game of Game of Crone stuff. Uh, back then I was trying to do more like the long form let's play stuff and it's gonna be different this year. I think I'm gonna do like two or three episodes of this. One, I'm waiting for a body to show up. One where um, I kind of show off the beginning of the Game of Crone quests. Let's just do some of the game stuff in general. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a body from the donkey yet. I think I'm going to skip ahead to donkey. So he should be here soon. All right, there he is. Bringing us our, our body of the day. One of the Game of Game of Crone quest lines is with the donkey. He's like part of a, a union, a donkey union, and we're sending them contraband because basically they threatened to kill us if we did not help them. Um, so I already sent them the five red apples they asked for. I also have to send them a cookbook and we'll see. I have to figure out how to get the cookbook. Um, but let's just start off by taking care of this body. Just classic graveyard keeper stuff. Oh yeah, my inventory is full, isn't it? Alright, I got some stuff out of my inventory, so we're gonna take out this dude's blood? That usually improves the body quality. How we doing? That's pretty good looking. We're gonna keep it there, because he has got a, a, he's got a pretty nice body quality right now. I'm not gonna take anything else from him. I'm already kind of racking up the meat because I, the human meat, god, if you have not seen this game before, you're probably like, what the fuck is going on? Um, this game has got kind of a very sick sense of humor, but let's uh, go, let's go ahead and uh, do this grave site, uh, plop one. right here. Carry him over there. Dig up this hole. Um, everything takes like a pretty good amount of energy in this game, I think. But yes, we got a burial certificate uh, for that, which we can sell to the tavern owner to get some money. Um, Right now, I'm with like the regular, you know, vanilla, whatever, <laughs> graveyard keeper. I need to work on getting the graveyard quality up and the church quality up, so I gotta unlock some stuff. I need some technologies. So I was thinking I would unlock this candle recipe. We can maybe craft. Oh boy, we need some stuff. We need beeswax and hemp rope. Uh, or beeswax and white paint. I do have a little bit of fat. Oh, I need, I need hemp? Oh crap, I need to grow hemp. There's a lot of stuff I need to do in order to do more things, but yeah. Let me just drop off the fat, the skin, the blood, all the goods. Go ahead and craft some uh, uh, grave, uh, uh, gravestone and a fence for my new body. Just gonna head to our uh, anvil, our stone cutter, our stone cutter. So yes, we'll get this gravestone. Craft, 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 craft stone grave fence it takes so much energy i don't even know if i'm gonna have enough energy to put both of these things on the gravestone but we'll see 
Alright, here we go. Gravestone. Work, 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 work. Grave fence. Work, 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 work. Oh, let's see. What does that say? Graveyard quality 20? What does our dear friend want it at? The, uh... Where is he? The bishop. Reach 30 at the graveyard and 30 at the church? 20 at the church? And bring four quality fish fillets. So we definitely gotta work on that. And... Why don't I take you to the refugee village, which is also part of the Game of Crone DLC. All right, we're headed into the refugee camp now. I brought them a little bread and some water because uh, they're rich people and they never, or I guess they used to be rich, or they still are rich. They're aristocrats who were imprisoned and then they escaped and uh, they don't know how to take care of themselves, so they asked me to do it for them, basically. I am giving them some food and water. They've asked me to, um, build them a tent and a water well, which I do not have enough resources for. <laughs> I need- I only got one silk. I also need some wooden sticks, but my refugee happiness is high enough I need, let's see, I need a, the free place? I don't know what that means. Maybe a free tent or something? And then I need a piece of stone and simple iron parts to build the water well. And I need their happiness to be a little bit higher, so. Um, I just gave them some more stuff. I think their happiness will probably go up a little bit more once it updates, or maybe once they, um, once I build this tent, so. Can I go talk to anybody right now? What's up? I still can't believe it. We were high society. Why did the king not protect us? They're just gonna complain. Hello? No time for regrets. To survive, we must look to the future. Ask about camp development. I can try to explain it. Obviously, I'm no specialist, but I've read about such matters. There are certain deep mechanisms and parameters involved. Imagine it's some tricky game. And if you understand it that way, why, you're halfway there. The rest is pure logic. Oh boy. Camp quality, satisfaction, refugee, happiness, about food and water. Okay, I think that's all we really need. I think it wants me to pick this flower. That's what it's prompting. My servants brought me my collection of toothpicks. Nice, what did you get? <laughs> okay. So let me get that silk, and I'm gonna grab some wood sticks, and we'll come back and build a tent. And see if that gets my refugee happiness to uh, where it needs to be, so... I can get this... Let's see, how much stone do I need? Because that's... I, it's hard to read on the screen. Um, I'll get the stone, I'll get the iron parts. And hopefully we'll get this refugee camp in business. Okay, so while I'm waiting for um, uh, the merchant so I can go get some more silk, I figured I'd show, I'd kind of start the other quest line that's going on in uh, Game of Crone, which is the vampire quest line. There are a few villagers I need to go question about the um, vampire. Miss Chain, who's usually in the tavern, because she's the tavern keeper's wife. Um, Rosa, she might be in the tavern too. And then let's see who else. Is there another person? I think the, yes, the farmer's son. He's probably inside though. Not this here. Not here inside. <laughs> Okay, so Miss Chain is here. We're gonna ask her about the vampire. What does she have to say? Uh, Chain, could you tell me a bit about that vampire? No, I couldn't. I won't say another word until Horadric apologizes for his disgusting behavior. Uh, okay, I'll ask him. 
So I gotta talk to Horadric. Uh, Horadric? Her husband? Ask him about apologizing to his wife. Uh, Chain asks you to say sorry for your... Me? Say I'm sorry? I found my wife's lover in my own bedroom and it's me who has to say sorry? Okay, I just walked into something here. Um, just picture it. He looked right at me and then jumped through the window. And now she's insisting that she was merely sleeping and this fellow was a common vampire. <laughs> Maybe she could be right? Go to her and inform her that I demand an explanation. Okay. Are we just gonna go back and forth between them? I might as well sell him this burial certificate. Cool. Go talk to her. Whoops. Oh, I guess I did it. Uh, Horadric demands an explanation. What? An explanation? Go ask him why he was returning home after midnight that- Oh dear lord. Listen, I'm sorry about your family troubles, but do you have anything useful to tell me? I don't know anything. I was asleep. Very well then. Have a good day. Wait, the astrologer knows a thing or two about vampires. He says he was once attacked by vampires about 30 years ago. Ooh. Gotta go talk to the astrologer. I have to wait till I have to wait like a whole week to go talk to him because he only shows up on Moon Day, which is before Sunday. Interestingly enough, so what's what's the plan? Okay, I'm gonna go get some hemp seeds. Plant those so I can work, start working on the candles. Um, and then hopefully once I get through that, I can go talk to the merchant, get the silk, and I'll be able to build a tent in the refugee camp. And then maybe I'll be able to talk to some other people about the vampire. Does it still want me to talk to other people, I assume? Did I already pass? No, yeah, it still wants me to talk to the other people about the vampire. I hope Dig is out at night. I don't know. I guess I'll find out, but we'll, uh, I'll see you back in a second. Okay, Dig was not out when I went there, because it was the middle of the night. I guess I should have expected that. So I walked all the way back to my house, and I kind of figured that I'd talk to the farmer's son on the way back if he'll, um get out of bed I don't know how to increase my friendship with the farmer but oh, will you please um, wake up kid so I can ask you about not the not the flower I want the apples uh, so I can ask you about the vampire? Oh. He just... Where did he come from? Ask about the vampire. I have some questions for you, child. About the vampire? Do you promise you won't laugh? My father, my uncle, all the neighbors. None of them believe me and just laugh. I promise I'll be serious. And that night, my father and Uncle Miller were drinking Uncle Wheat, Uncle's Wheat Whiskey. I was home alone, and some man came through the window. At first, I thought it was my drunk father. I even called out to him, Dad? But he, it was like he didn't hear me. Interesting, go on. In a flash, I knew it wasn't Dad, and I hid under my blanket. And he, he, he just went away. Please, don't laugh. Everybody laughs at that part. Don't worry, at 15 years old, I'd have been scared too. Thanks a lot, but I'm 22. Okay, so we did that. That didn't seem to advance anything though. Maybe we didn't really need to talk to him. So yeah, let's go talk to Dig.
Except, you know what? I decided I'm going to talk to Rosa first since we're in town and I have to ask her about the vampire. Even though this probably won't do anything. Rose, that vampire who attacked you. May I? He drank my blood. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But please, a bit less loud. Was it gripping and sinister? I practiced that line for hours. Yeah, you're the best. So, could you tell me what happened? He lured me to the barn by imitating the sounds of a pregnant cow. Then he grabbed me and started drinking my blood. But almost right away, he just spat it out. It was like he was disgusted, and you know what? It was even a little insulting. If my husband had been home... And what happened after that? He said... B again? Group B? It's like you're all mocking me. And then he ran away. Oh, thank you for your help. I hope uh, your cows have lots of nice calves. I guess he doesn't like type B blood. I wonder what type he does like. I assume that's what they're referring to by group B. Now we're gonna go talk to Dig, okay? Before it gets dark and he goes away. Um, yes, he's here, he's here, good stuff. Bing dong, bing bong, bing bang bong, dig, I am, am I? Here's your honey, dude. Um, that wasn't to get, that wasn't my objective here, but I figured I'd, uh, just get him some honey. Remember, a cake can never be too sweet. Sweetness can help you see things from other points of view, so you can learn more. Okay, I got a cake recipe, yum. Let's get some... I could just buy the hemp rope. Yeah, let me do that. I'll buy... I don't know how much I need, though. How much does it cost? Um, these cost the same amount. I guess they're not too expensive. I'll buy four of them, and I'll buy... Four hemp seeds so we'll we'll have some hemp rope and then I'll get some hemp plants started so I won't have to buy hemp rope from him too much I hope so let's go get some let's go make some candles while we wait for the merchant uh, he shows up t in town tomorrow okay I know I said I was gonna go go make candles but then I realized that I probably need more than one beeswax and I went to try and get some from some beehives and just kept getting honey. So I decided maybe I should unlock the beekeeping technology and just make my own beehives. And I have to craft more stuff to do that. And by the time I got all that, I was like, all right, it's the merchant day. So I guess I'll go get another thing of silk. <laughs> this is this what this entire game is. It's just... You decide to do one thing, and then you realize you have to do another thing before you do that, and then you have to re realize you have to do another thing before you do that thing, and you just it just keeps going, and it just like takes a really long time to complete a task, um, which gets a little tedious sometimes. I just feel like there's like so much going back, back, back. Uh, which, I, I don't know, I, I still enjoy the game, even though it's like, oh, I have to do this. It does, it sounds like I'm complaining. Um, but, I think I should go to sleep before I go to the camp, because I definitely don't know, have enough energy to build a tent. So let me do that, and I'll meet you at the camp. Residential tent. We have everything we need. Oh boy. But where can I build it? Okay. I have two splots, splots, spots to build the residential tent. I'm not sure why it gives me the dimensions in this like specific pattern because I, you know, I can't move it anywhere else. It's got to go there. 
So let's go ahead and get that constructed. The refugee happiness is now zero out of two. How did that happen? Oh, it's because this, this makes it minus one. I don't know how it goes down to zero from that then and changes the max. Okay, that made it plus two, uh, but now we're starting out at zero again. So, let's see. Ooh, they're out of food, so I'm gonna give them some water. I'm gonna go ahead and give them these carrots, because I don't need, I don't need to give the donkey any carrots right now, I think. I, I feel like I don't need bodies right now, yet. Um, so we have to wait for their happiness to go back up to build the well. Let's let's just go down to the church and see how much beeswax it takes for one candle. Maybe oh nope, get the Well, I don't I don't think I can get the honey right now. It hasn't been long enough. We can check on that, I guess. I'll make some paper, which I need for the apiary. Yeah, let's get on that. All right, we're getting a little thunderstorm here. I, ooh, that body is, I just left that body out to rot. Okay, I'll get it eventually. But yeah, is the thunderstorm done? That's the second time it's like thunderstorm for like two seconds and I'm trying, I wanted to record it cause I'm working on a like th game thunderstorm ambiance video, which I think is gonna go on a separate channel. Um. Which I need to come up with a name for. It just didn't last long enough. Yeah, I need one more beeswax, it looks like. I do need some paper. Some clean paper for the apiary. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft that. I don't have any... Maybe I have some stored. Do I have some stored? Actually, no, I think I used it all. I decomposed it all for science. Does that make sense? <laughs> I guess it kind of. I get science points for decomposing stuff that I can use to study at this bench over here. So, yeah, I think... Actually, there's one more thing I wanted to do before I finish this video. This is, I know I said two or three episodes of this. It's, it's gotta be at least three episodes um, to kind of cover the three quest lines going on. Plus do some of the classic graveyard keeper stuff, um, just the bodies. And I guess the, the other two things we're gonna focus on during these full Spooktober 22, 22 episodes are um, the church and graveyard, you know, just like the basic stuff, and then the snake ritual dungeon stuff. I, I just think it'll be fun to do this decorating part for spooky season. This feels like I'm decorating for Halloween, but in the game. Oh, I need to collect more skulls, so I should get the skull from that body that's not doing so hot. I think it says I need five, so we'll get this little section decorated up. Maybe we'll do some dungeon crawling. Uh, how about that's how we end the end the video? We will end the video with a little dungeon crawling. Uh, I don't think I'll do very much of it because uh, game gets a little bit louder here. The dungeon music gets a little louder. Uh, I feel like I use up so much energy with my sword. Wait, it. I couldn't have selected another level, could I? How do I get to the next level? I don't remember. I don't remember how to do the dungeon. But apparently, I can collect some blood. In the dungeon, which is which Snake needs, and he also wants some bloody nails. See, I'm already like out of energy, 
and I have to go back. So I might need to like cook a bunch of stuff so I can keep my energy up for this. I I'm gonna have to like plan things all out. I'm about to go, uh, after I finish recording this, I'm going to get lunch and I'm gonna play some Graveyard Keeper and figure out uh, everything I need to do so that I'm a little more organized when I record the next video. Like I literally, I know this video is only like a little over 25 minutes long, but I've been sitting here for over an hour doing stuff. <laughs> because there's just so much to do in this game. But I am gonna have spooky videos every day until the end of October. I think I'm gonna play all the I'm on observation duties, so that'll probably be five videos and then, you know, it, that might be something I also do periodically throughout the year. And who know where am I going? Oh, the hatch is closed. But yeah, I'm wrapping up this video. There will be at least two more of these. And then this could also be something I continue after October every now and then. I'm hoping that we we do this game of crone stuff and that next year for Halloween we can do one of the other DLCs. There's like three total. And I have the game of crone. There's like the uh, Stranger Things. Is that what it's called? Uh, DLC and the like dead whatever DLC. I don't know. I'm just gonna have fun with this because this is fun and I think this the doing the DLC stuff is fun and it just feels very nice in the Halloween theme. But thanks for watching. I will see you next time.